So I'm going to take the role of being a student here on theeverlearner.com. So I'm on my course here. I've got numerous courses. I could go back to the dashboard. I, I'm a, logged in here as Hermione Granger. I have numerous course courses that are assigned to me. But what, I, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on to open the skeleton. You'll notice here that I have three lessons, so three tutorials within this topic. So I'm just going to go into lesson one of three, the bone of the skeleton, hit start learning. And as soon as I go into there, I enter an interesting environment, which I'm just going to kind of exaggerate a little bit for you. So the point I'd like to make, first of all, is that you've got some really useful information here. First of all, you've got your tutorial, which I'll play in a few moments time. And of course, this is going to teach us all about the bones. OK, but I can see what's coming up. I can see my percentage completion. I can see how long each tutorial is. So, for example, I could move immediately onto the structure of joints from this point and start learning there. But obviously, I just want to have a little think about the bones of the skeleton here. So I want to start playing this. You probably won't be able to hear the audio in the background. Well, you might be able to catch it. I'm actually going to mute it. But just be aware that there's audio there being uh, played on this particular particular tutorial and you see here not surprisingly I've got my time bar moving you can see my percentage is racking up up here which I can monitor as well if I need to but perhaps most importantly you can see that I've got a little tracking bar down here as well now that's going to become important when you look at how tutorial watching is tracked within the site so we're tracking not just the time the student um, watches but the specific moments so if I drag forward to here you're going to see I'm going to create a gap in my tracking so it's going to pick up you see there it's going to pick up for me that I'm now watching in this segment in here and I've missed this bit okay so we've got that but let's let's I don't know let's just drag it let's just drag it somewhere down in the middle and we've got some bones and some demonstrations going in there now as you see or I can I can jump if I want to the very last uh, lesson in my in my course if I want to hydration but actually what I'm going to think about doing is I'm going to hit this here and I'm going to start thinking about making some notes. And I'm going to write here, for example, that hashtag pelvis is in the middle of the body. Because that's what's been taught to me. And I'm going to say and hashtag articulates with the hashtag femur. Now these tags are all searchable, okay? So I'm going to hit full stop, and I'm going to say that's my note. And you see here, that note is being saved. Now, I'm being taught now about the patella. I might write here, the patella, let me do that correctly, the hashtag patella is the knee cap. It sits within a tendon. A Keep forgetting, don't I? This is what we've got to work with on the students too. It sits within a hashtag tenor. So I can now save that. And these notes are being saved. As you notice here with the bookmarks, they're being, they're being saved against the specific moment in the video. So if I click down to here, and uh, it looks like we are studying something about... It looks like we're studying something about the humorous at this point. I can write the hashtag humor... Whoops. I can write the hashtag humorous and then I you know I'm going to write something about that long bone okay and I'm going to and I'm going to put that in there now this is the important point all those notes are being saved against the video for the learner beyond that though they're also searchable and let's say that we see this note and they, these notes for example are going to appear in our practice mode quizzing and I want to find out about the pelvis all I have to do is click on my notes and it takes me specifically back to that part about the pelvis or the patella there okay so i managed to tag those right next to each other but it's going to take me back to that specific part of that tutorial now of course if in future tutorials i hashtag humorous femur patella whatever i can search through those specific moments and clips within different tutorials so your students are literally developing synoptic go and find the specification go and look through the specifications the specifications right now tell us that the students need to make links between musculoskeletal system them links between topics at a level whatever it happens to be and we are literally structuring that for them here that they can they can make those links explicit a couple of other things within the uh, tutorial environment here uh, depending on whether you are on a mobile or on desktop desktop you can switch between HD you can go full screen of course that's going to go beyond uh, the screen I've got because I've only got a certain part of my screen being displayed here I can also go into dark mode okay so not our night mode I should say this is for late night studying not that your students ever do that of course I'm sure they don't 
and of course at any point I can go back to dashboard or probably back to my course. And I can also go back to my content. You see here I've in that little section I've covered 36% of this tutorial. So let's go back to the course at this point. And you see here I've seen 12% of this topic because I've seen 36% of this and I've got these ones to go. So we're also tracking that notion as we go. So really, really rich learning environment for the student.